Hey everyone, welcome back to Clinical Physio with me, Khalid Maidan. In today's video, we're going to be taking you through dermatomal testing of the lower limb as a part of your lumbar spine neurological assessment. And the reason we complete our dermatomal testing is to see whether or not your patient's loss of sensation fits a distinct dermatomal pattern, which would be the case if they had a lumbar spine nerve root compression. If the symptoms do not fit a dermatomal pattern, this may be attributed to many other causes, such as a local nerve compression, a diabetic neuropathy, or even a vascular cause, to name a few. So let's get into our main video. It's time to get clinical. What you will find in clinical practice is that there is a relative variation in dermatomal patterns, not only between one patient and another, but also between different textbooks, which will have different interpretations of where the dermatomes are. And this is because researchers in medicine have used different methods of mapping dermatomal patterns. So therefore, it's a good idea to have an understanding of where the dermatomes are, but don't be surprised if the patient's sensory issues do not fit an exact replica of the dermatomes you study. It is also important to note that dermatomal areas overlap, and so in this video, we are looking at the most consistent tactile areas for each individual dermatome, i.e. the area we can link to an isolated dermatome. It is also important to note that paresthesia is most likely to be found in the distal part of the dermatome rather than the most proximal part. Whilst the lower limb dermatomes can be represented from L1 to S5, the main ones we are going to take you through today are the ones mainly used in clinical practice. And these are the dermatomes from L2 to S1. So now we're going to be taking you through the areas that you need to test as a part of your lower limb dermatomal testing. I'm going to be in the position I'm in so that you can see everything clearly on the camera. And you will see me alternating between the right and left legs when I'm showing you the different dermatomes. For example, I'm going to show you the L2 dermatome on the left leg. Uh, but I'm going to be showing you the L3 dermatome on our patient's right leg. And that's simply so that you can see everything clearly on the video. But essentially, the dermatomes on the right side are exactly the same as they are on the left side. So, let's go through the dermatomes together. And we start with L2. So the L2 dermatome starts just distally to the greater decanter and runs four-fifths of the way down the lateral thigh. So, just again, we're going from just distal to the greater trochanter, four-fifths of the way down the lateral thigh. So, just to say it more easily, down the lateral femur. For L3, halfway down the medial aspect of the femur of the patient's groin, running along the medial side of the, the femur and just distal to the medial tibial condyle. So, once again, L3, halfway down the medial side of the patient's femur in the groin region, just distal to the medial tibial condyle. That's L3. L4, a quarter of the way down the medial aspect of the tibia, swooping down the medial side of the tibia, underneath the medial malleolus, underneath the medial arch of the foot, swooping underneath to the big toe on the sole of the foot. So, one more time, quarter of the way down the medial side of the tibia, underneath the medial malleolus, under the medial arch, and onto the sole of the foot at the first digit. L5, quarter of the way down the lateral aspect of the fibula, swooping down and then into a diagonal line with the big toe, this time on the dorsal side, of the, the dorsum of the foot. So once again, quarter of the way down the lateral fibula in a diagonal line to the first digit on the dorsum of the foot. And S1 from the lateral malleolus, lateral side of the foot, and fifth digit towards the lateral side of the fifth toe, the fifth digit. So let's go through those quickly again. L2, distal from the greater decanter down to four-fifths away down the femur. L3, halfway down the groin, just distal to the medial tibial condyle. L4, quarter of the way down the medial tibia, underneath the medial malleolus, under the medial arch, and to the sole of the foot at the first digit. L5, 
quarter of the way down the lateral fibula, and then in a diagonal direction to the big toe, the first digit on the dorsum of the patient's foot. And finally, S1 from the lateral malleolus, lateral foot to the lateral side of the fifth digit. So those are the areas that we use as a part of our dermatomal testing. Now we're going to show you how to do the testing in practice. What should you use as your instrument for testing dermatomal sensation? Cotton wool is often used as the main instrument to test your patient's ability to feel light touch. So that is what you will see me using in this video. So here we ask our patient to close their eyes. We will then simultaneously run the cotton wool through the dermatomal areas, as we mentioned earlier. And we will ask the patient if the sensation feels the same on the affected side in comparison to the unaffected side. If it doesn't, we want to know how different it feels, and so we may ask the patient to tell us the percentage sensation that they feel on the affected side in comparison to the unaffected side. For example, it feels like 75% sensation on the left compared to the right. So now we're going to take you through how to test the lower limb dermatomes in practice using a piece of cotton wool. We have our patient here sitting on the edge of the bed and what we're going to be doing is running the cotton wool through the different dermatomal areas on the right and left legs. We're going to be asking our patient to close their eyes and tell us if the sensation feels the same on the right side as it does on the left for each different area tested. If it doesn't feel the same, then we need to ask the patient how it feels different on the right side compared to the left. And we also need to ask what percentage difference there is in sensation between the right and left sides. As we go through the testing, look out for a particular dermatome which is going to be not feeling the same on the right and left sides. Look for how we ask about the difference and how we ask about the percentage difference in terms of sensation. So, let's get into it. So, here I'm going to be going through some sensation tests with you. I'm going to be running the cotton wool down the different areas of your leg on the right and left sides. I'd like you to close your eyes, please, and as we go through the test, I'd like you to tell me if the sensation feels the same on the right as it does on the left. So, does this feel the same as this? Yes. Does this feel the same as this? Yes. Does this feel the same as this? No. How does it feel different? It feels like less sensation on the left compared to the right. OK, so if the right side feels 100%, what percentage would you say you have on the left? 50%. OK, let's carry on. So. Does this feel the same as this? Yes. And finally, does this feel the same as this? Yes. So that completes our dermatomal testing. And the answer you were looking for as to which dermatome was different in sensation from the right to the left was the L4 dermatome where our patient said that the sensation on the left side felt 50% in comparison to 100% on the right. So that is how you go through your dermatomal testing of the lower limb. And as we have said, it is standard to use cotton wool as your instrument for testing your patient's ability to sense light touch. However, the next step may be to further explore the area of diminished sensation by testing your patient's ability to feel a sharp sensation, vibration sensation, or hot and cold sensation. These different tests are not to be done routinely within musculoskeletal practice, but can give you more information about your patient's sensation otherwise, and therefore should not be ruled out from a clinician's toolbox. An example of this might be, say, Jenny, a 49-year-old lady who has spinal pain and peripheral neurogenic pain, and also complains of distinct numbness or sensation deficit in her legs. However, you go through your dermal tests with the cotton wool and find nothing wrong. 
This is where you could use your vibration or sharp stimulus testing, for example, to further explore her symptoms to confirm or rule out her numbness. So here's a quick video to show you how you may test for your patient's ability to feel vibration and sharp stimuli. So now we're going to take you through our additional dermatomal tests using a sharp stimulus as well as a vibration stimulus. So for your sharp stimulus, you can use uh, an object such as the sharp end of your reflex hammer as the stimulus through the tests. And by doing this, we're going to do exactly the same testing as we did with a piece of cotton wool, i.e. we ask our patient to close their eyes, and then we run the sharp stimulus through the dermatomes on the right and left sides. We ask our patient if it feels the same, and if it feels different, how does it feel different, and what is the percentage difference in sensation between the right and left sides. So for example, if we were going to go through the L4 dermatome testing, we would run the sharp stimulus through the L4 dermatome on the right side, and we would also run the sharp stimulus through the dermatome for L4 on the left side. And then, as we said, ask if it feels the same on the right and left. If it feels different, how does it feel different? And what is the percentage difference between the right and left sides? So now if you wanted to complete your vibration stimulus testing with your patient, you can use something such as a tuning fork in order to provide that vibration stimulus. When you're using a tuning fork, you would gener generate the vibration within the fork and then place it at the most distal end of the dermatome being tested. So for example, the uh, L4 dermatome ends underneath the sole of the foot uh, on the first toe. So that is where you would place your tuning fork in order to test the vibration stimulus. And the reason that we use the most distal end of the, of the dermatomal region is because, it, it is because it is the distal end which is most likely to experience paresthesia if your patient has a condition such as a nerve root compression. So if you wanted to generate the vibration within the tuning fork, use something such as the edge of your plinth to <coughs> tap the tuning fork against so that you have that ringing and vibration stimulus. And when you actually apply the uh, tuning fork to your patient, you want to make sure that you are using the lower end of the tuning fork. And that's because if you use the most distal end, your vibration will instantly cut out. The tuning fork only maintains the vibration when you're using the lower half of the tuning fork. So for example, if we were going to go through the vibration on the L4 dermatome, we would generate our vibration and then place the lower half of the tuning fork on the underside of the first digit and ask our patient whether or not they feel that vibration stimulus. We would then do the same on the left side, asking our patient if they feel the stimulus. And we would go through this uh, process for each of the dermatomes, noting if the patient can feel the vibration on the right and left sides. If at a particular dermatome, your patient cannot feel the vibration on the right, but they could feel it on the left, for example, you need to make a note of that as it will inform you about your patient's condition. So to summarise this video on lower limb dermatomal testing. Here you can see the different areas used to test the dermatomes from L2 to S1. For your testing, use a piece of cotton wool to assess your patient's ability to feel light touch. Ask the patient to close their eyes before you run the cotton wool through the dermatomal area being tested. As you do this, we want to ask the patient if the sensation feels the same on the affected and unaffected sides, and if it feels normal. If it doesn't, we want to ask how it feels different, and we want to gauge the percentage difference in sensation. For example, the S1 dermatome on the right has 60% sensation compared to the left. If cotton wool testing shows no abnormalities, but you are still concerned about your patient's sensation deficit and you want to explore it further, you may go through testing to assess your patient's ability to feel sharp and vibration stimuli. And that completes our video on dermatomal testing of the lower limb. Next, I'd like to suggest you have a look at our other videos within the Lumbar Spine Neurological Assessment Catalogue, including myotomal testing, reflex tests, lower limb tension tests, 
and lumbar spine palpation. Thank you as always for joining us and we'll see you again soon right here on Clinical Physio.